What's up, everybody? It's Joey D. This is your guy from the other thigh, and this is the Bears Beatdown. How you doing today? I'm doing good. It's snowy. It's beautiful, right? We're from Chicago. Got a lot of snow out there. We love our little commute to work. It's a beautiful thing. First off, I want to say congratulations to Brian Erlacher to make it in the Hall of Fame on the first ballot. They knocked on his door in the hotel. They said, how you doing? He said, I'm doing fine. He said he wants some Portillo's. They said, God bless. And now he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, which is a beautiful thing. Number 54, salute. You deserve it. You're a stud. You're a beast. And you're in the Hall of Fame. God bless. So now, last week we were talking about the defensive side of the ball. All of our people that might go or might stay this year in this offseason. So now, today, we're going to be talking about the offensive side of the ball. Uh, who's going to stay? Who's going to go? Who's like, eh, how you doing? I don't know. You know, I'm a Cubs. I'm a Sox fan. I don't know what I am. So that's what we're doing today, guys. So let's start off with the quarterback position who we have. I'm going to go from the back end to the front end. Hey, that's what she said. So we'll start with uh, Mark Dirty Sanchez and the... Uh, Mark Sanchez actually is the third string quarterback on the team who actually, if you remember him, he was the uh, butt fumble on the Jets. He's actually not bad. He, he actually knows how to mentor the, the quarterback position and he helped out Mitch Trubinsky a lot this year. So I think we should re-sign him for a vet minimum and just keep him around just so he can help in, you know, when they go in the quarterback's room and they're looking at tape and just the little things, the detail, I think Mark would help a lot. Then, moving up on the list, you got uh, Mike Lennon. Uh, Mike Lennon, bye Felicia. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but, uh, you know, I know we signed you to that contract, and people are saying, like, why we do that, huh? So, whatever. It's done. It's over with. We did it. I think, Mike, I'm sorry, you know. And let me go back and say this. Any of these athletes that I'm talking about today, they all have families, they have kids, they have wives, uh, and uh, we don't want to see anybody lose their job here on the Bears beatdown because they're all professional, and you don't want anybody to lose their job. You know what I mean? It's, hey, it's no good. So, but Mike, you got to go. So we get rid of Mike, and then it's going to clear up a lot of cap space. So that's a beautiful thing. And our star starting quarterback is, ho, oh, MT, true, Mr. Binsky. The, you know, he's going to lead us to the promised land. I'm excited. I can't wait. Year two, he's going to like take a lot of leaps and bounds. And uh, he's going to be a solid next year for us and years to come, hopefully. He'll be winning us some Super Bowl championships. So Mitch is the man next year. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Moving on. We have Jordan Howard, who's a stud, who's a beast. I mean, look what he did this year. And with everybody stacking the box. Next year, that's not going to happen. They're, they can't do that next year. So he's gonna, he actually going to have a better year than he did this year. Uh, he went over 1,000 yards. Jordan Howard, number 24. You're beautiful. You're there. Moving on to uh, Terry Cohen. Cohen, the, the little, what, the joystick? I mean, this guy's everything. He's got like 20 nicknames. I'm going to call him uh, Little Big Man. Bushwick Bill. How you doing? He uh, He's a beast, though, man. He can just, you know... Man, catch a pass on the backfield. I mean, even on special teams, you saw what he did. So the guy's awesome. He really is, and, and he's definitely going to be there. Then the third string guy is Benny Cunningham, who actually is not bad at all. He was decent for us. He actually got the kind of screwed over by good old John Fox uh, in the game this year where he went to dove to the end zone, and Fox actually threw the flag, and the poor guy actually, we would have had the ball on the one-yard line. But Fox, he, he actually threw the flag out, and it was a fumble, and the other team got the ball, and we lost. But I guess that was last season, right? What am I doing, huh? Why do I talk about last season? So, uh, Cunningham, I'm pretty sure you're going to be back on the team uh, in the running backs room and with the other running backs, which is a beautiful thing. How you doing? So, next, you have the tight ends. <laughs> Who don't like a nice tight end? And uh, God bless. How you doing? We have... Uh, Adam Shaheen, basically Baby Gronk, who's a, man, he's going to be a stud. I know he was out there for a little bit, then he got kind of banged up, but Adam Shaheen and Mitch, actually, uh, True, MT, they're going to actually, they hang out, they play video games together, they do darts, it's a beautiful thing. They have a chemistry together, so hopefully it'll be like uh, Brady and Gronk, the navy, blue, and the orange, So which is beautiful. 
So we're going to see that next year, a lot of that. Uh, that's going to be a nice combo. Deion Sims, who was signed last year, I think another guy that I think we're going to let go just because of his contract. And he's actually a really good blocker. But for the money and the investment, I think Deion Sims is going to be gone too as well. So that leaves uh, Ben Broniker. That'll be the tight ends that we have on the team this year. And uh, we're, we might actually look in free agency or the draft to maybe add another tight end uh, to the team. So moving on then, we have the wide receivers. Now wide receivers, we all know, is a sore subject in Chicago. I mean, the last to be honest with you, the last good wide receiver we had was Alshon Jeffrey. You got your ring. God bless. And uh, we also had Brandon Marshall, which a lot of people, you know, said he was kind of like a headache in the locker room. And, and he might have been. He was. I was in the locker room. Neither were you. So we don't know. But the guy was a beast on the field. And God bless him for that. So I know that we have Kevin White returning. Hopefully he's healthy because this is like a make or break year for Kevin White. So he's going to be on the squad. Whatever we get out of him, God bless. I hope you're actually recovering right now. You're coming back as a beast. And you're going to be the guy that you were at West Virginia and just, like, just taking the ball, snatching that, taking it, taking it away from the other teams. We also have Cam I Am, Meredith, who's coming uh, back. He actually got uh, hurt this year, but the year before, he was a stud. He was like our own little shining light that we had uh, going on 2016 year. He was doing really good, and man, and the, you know he got banged up, and he was out all season. He's coming back. we got to re-sign him because I think he's actually going to be a real... He's actually... He could be the number one. We don't know that. You don't know that. I don't know. He could be possibly a number one, if not a solid number two. So I like Cam I am. How you doing, Cam? I am. So uh, green eggs and ham. So it's beautiful. We also have Josh Bellamy, who I think... He's right there on the bubble. He can go either way. You know what I mean? He's actually pretty decent, I think, on special teams. But Josh, I don't know. If they give him a vet minimum, God bless. You have Dontrell Inman, who we saw, we actually got traded to uh, from San Diego and the Chargers in the middle of the season, and he uh, he was okay. I don't know if they're going to pick him up again. It's just, you know, he, he doesn't have, like, a lot of flash or pizzazz, so I don't know about him. We do, though, have Kendall Wright coming back, and uh, hopefully we resign him because I think him and Mitch actually had a little bit of a chemistry, you know, on some third long, you know, some third and long. Uh, he actually came up with a couple clutch catches, you know, down the road uh, at the end of the year with Mitch to complete the first downs. So I actually like uh, Kendall. I think if we give him a decent contract, like, you know, that's unfavorable for the Bears, come back. Come on back. Come back home, huh? Have a little bit of pasta. So he's another guy, right? We might bring back Marcus Wheaton. Uh, no, he's not coming back. It's not going to happen. Uh, bye, Felicia. So uh, you you got to go. I, I just, you know, I know he was banged up a little bit. You know, they wanted that deep vertical threat, uh, a burner, basically, sidelines, and uh, it just never panned out. I hope he maybe catches on somewhere else, maybe the Canadian Football League, Arena uh, Ball, uh, the WWE one. I don't know, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be there. The Wide receiver group actually next year might look a little or a lot different than it did this year. Uh, so God bless the wide receivers. How you doing? So it, the last but not least on the offense, and this is one of the key, I think, for our offense in general. In any football, you need a good offensive line. If you don't have a good offensive line, forget about it. You're nothing. You're done. You're toy. You're nothing. So right now, well, here, first off, you think offensive line, you think Kyle Long. Kyle Long, you're a beast, you're a stud, you're what the Bears is all about. I just want you healthy, brother. Get healthy. You're healthy, you're in there, you're a rock. You got that mean, that nastiness. You're not going to let anybody touch Mitch. You're going to open up holes and lanes for our running backs. It's a beautiful thing. Just get healthy. You also have Aronis Grisou, who, uh, you know, see, that's the thing. The Bears actually mix things up a little bit, so you don't know who's where. He's there, he's in the middle, he's in the guard, he's in the tackle. We got Grasso who's coming back. We also have Cody White here, who is a stud. Uh, he was actually a pro bowler his rookie season last year. Eh, but he's coming back. He's going to train. He's going to get better. Trust me, the offensive line is going to be hopefully one of our solid pieces next year moving forward, which is really going to work for us. Uh, we also have Bobby Massey. Now, Bobby Massey, uh, I don't know. He's one of those guys that, you know, I mean, if, if we could do better out there, why not? I'm not saying Bobby was the worst, but uh, he's the one guy I think, uh, he might be the one weak link uh, on there.
But, you know, like I said, if they keep them, I understand completely. But I would actually kind of look maybe somewhere else. Uh, if the contract maybe ex expires or if we get somebody else in there, God bless. And uh, we also have Charles Leno Jr. Well, people don't realize he played every game, man. That guy, he's kind of underrated. I know we just signed him to a new contract last year uh, during the season, so you know he's not going anywhere. Hopefully he can hone his skills, uh, maybe work you know, uh, this offseason, and uh, just, just get better because I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not going anywhere. Then we also have another guy, to me, who's a fan favorite, Eric Cush, who's, uh, who got hurt last year. But he's coming back here. I don't know if you guys remember him. He was on the TV show The Hard Knocks with the Rams, and uh, it was Fat Arm Friday. So he wore the tank tops. And uh, Eric Cush, he's a badass, man. I like Eric Cush. He's a, he's kind of has that nastiness on the line, too. So hopefully he comes back healthy, and he's not a road grader. So get him in there. Uh, you also have Tom Compton. Hey, how, do, how don't you like Compton, huh? You know, easy E. Easy. I mean, you know, NWA is cube. You know, you gotta like Compton. I mean, do you know? Here, fun fact for the day. Fun fact. There's a Compton, Illinois. Oh, yeah. Google it. Compton, Illinois. Now, it's nothing like the real Compton. Just saying. But uh, Tom Compton, you know, he, he's a good fill in. You know, coming off the bench. Not bad. And then we have Bradley Swole. Uh, Swole. And uh, another guy who's been, you know, bounced around for a couple of years coming off the bench. So. Our offensive line, as long as everybody's healthy and they gel them together with the new coordinators and the new coaches that we have, I think actually is going to be one of our bright spots moving forward next year is the offensive line. As long as everybody's healthy. Keyword long is everybody's healthy. You got that long? Hey. So uh, if we keep everybody together and gel and mold, I think it's going to be a real, you know, uh, hat, you know, uh, a little feather in our cap moving forward. So that's basically the offense next year, who I'm excited about. I'm pretty pumped about our team next year because I think we're just going to put up some numbers that we've never seen here in Chicago. So you have the right mind with Matt Nagy uh, leading the way, and it, it's going to be fun to watch. So next week, next week's show, we're going to start talking about free agents. It's about that time. We got about a uh, little, I mean, it's about a month away. I think it's March 10th might be the date where free agents can sign. So we're right around uh, a month away now about free agency is going to be begin. And actually we'll see who the Bears are going to get rid of and who they're going to keep. Uh, it might be a whole new looking team at least, or maybe half of them. You don't know. You just never know a free agency. Who's cutting, who's coming, who's going. You don't know. So, excuse me. Holy cannoli, I forgot about one guy, Josh Sitton. Josh, I forgot about you on the offensive line. Josh, where you been my whole life? He's the, he's the ace right here. He can go either way because his contract's basically, he, could, he might go or he might stay. He's been, and he was actually with the Packers before he was with the Bears, and it was a great pickup on our part. He's a pro bowler. He's a stud. And honestly, I got to say this, all right? He's got the best hair on the whole team, all right? I mean, it's it's beautiful. He kind of looks like the guy from uh, Sons of Anarchy, right? You know, he's, he's on the bike. He's doing what he's got to do. He's, uh, he's a beast, though. He really is. As long as he's healthy, I know he's getting up there in age, but he's another guy that, I mean, if the Bears do part with him, uh, hopefully they have a contingency plan to replace him, but he's actually pretty solid. I know he's getting up there. So Josh Shitton... Uh, Honestly, you got better hair than Clay Matthews. All right, Josh, how you doing? Age two old break. Josh Shitton. Oh. So, next week, sorry guys, I'm a little shot. I was born sideways. What are you going to do? One arm and one leg. I didn't want to come out. It was really nice and warm in there. So, I uh, next week, we're going to start talking about the free agents that possibly the Bears could be targeting or looking at, or just honestly, guys, that, that I feel that will look good in our jersey. Is that okay? Thank you. I just want to make sure I got your permission. And last but not least, we just went over a 1,000 views uh, on the Bears beatdown. Actually, one of the videos, the wide receiver video, just went over a 1,000 views. So, I mean, that's, that, that's a beautiful thing, all right? 1,000 views. And I probably did 900 myself. So, anyways... Please keep watching. Keep subscribing here. Uh, find me on Instagram. Go on the Book of the Face. Like the page. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, hashtag God bless and all that good stuff. I love you guys. You love me. I love you. I got to go shovel right now. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, look, 
the season's coming up, man. It's going to be here before we know it, and we're going to do this together. I love you, and you love me. Thank you for watching, because if it wasn't for you guys, there'd be no me. I love you guys. I'm Joey D. Oh, and this is The Bears Beatdown. God bless. One.